Let's go. <laughs> she is. <laughs> and we are her like this. <laughs> it's been frantic. I'm, <laughs> I'm fraught. I'm frazzled already. Talk amongst yourself for the next hour. Yeah, we just need to recover. We had a little harlequin crisis. I'm having a huge harlequin Five crisis. Five seconds before having to work it out because we wanted to show you guys a little bit more clearly how to do the harlequin and then we worked out we couldn't do the harlequin it had all gone wrong hi Jeanette it's not as easy as it looks hi Jeanette hi me but hopefully we'll talk you through this one and then and then we had a we've forgotten to bring our masking tape crisis so we've now got a mix and match <laughs> I'd forgotten to bring my masking only the mix tape. and match involved a real look at look at the state my where, where's the step look I still look convinced I'm doing this needle lights masking tape I at the slightest slightest he plays the long game needle, right? If he watches where I put that, two hours later he'll have it if he it's can. Dog teeth marks <laughs> in it, and it's just bent and ripped. And... Cheers, guys! Oh, it's like to stop me farting around. I've, 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 I've got, got shows put on. I know, but the show will not go on if I'm not farting around. Hi, Louise. Hi, George. Right. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> trauma. Huge traumas. That's it. First things first, first things first. Get to get prize, randomly chosen. Got a treat for you this week, lovely. So what was up for grabs is this little um, iron orchid transfer. And as you know, the theme of well my project anyway was quite pinky. So yeah, so I put in a pink stays on ink amp. And now, so we've, we've done the random. Now this person was generated on my generator. Um, but we know for a fact that she's supported us for a long time. She's been yeah, on every video. So it's I'm, a name that keeps cropping up. I'm really chuffed that you've got it. So it is, can you see this? It's Malia! Really chuffed. And as a special thank you for all your support, Malia, now I've established I can get my paint across to the US in one piece without spilling everywhere, I'm throwing in, you are the second person in the US to have very <laughs> chic paint. So I'm giving you a bit of my Parissa pink, which is what I've used for this project Beautiful. today. Okay, so that will be winging its way to you. Well done. Fantastic. You need to send me your address. Okay. And up for grabs next week. Dun, 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 dun. Now we are going to try our hardest, because we've been meaning to do this for quite a long time, yes. to have a milk paint week next week, because um, I haven't played with milk paint for a really long time. I've had, had, I've had a little play, play yeah, yeah, but I'd want to do more. It's about trying to find the right piece to do it, but if we can, that's what we're going to try and do next week. So up for grabs, with that in mind, is some clear waters, which is that. Oh, nice. Can you put it up close? It's like a pale blue. Hang on, I always get this way wrong. Yeah, that one there. That's the one pale by blue. my finger. So it's a, it's a large sachet. It goes a long way of Grace Mary milk paint. And all you have to do is add water to it. And then one of my lovely fairy sheet brushes. Okay. Okay. So, so what have you got to do? You've got to share and you've got to write shared because in the generator, I literally take across the post and I and I put in the word shared. So the generator then picks up anyone that has put the word shared in their comments. So you just must, like Mary's you done. You must just write it, not just thumbs up, not love you guys, none of that. Well, you can, you can say that too. You can say that too. But you need to write the word shared because otherwise Brilliant, it won't Louise. go in the generator. Louise has shared. Yeah, cool, cool. <laughs> right, right. Let's get down to it. So you might notice that we're on the opposite sides today and it's because Amanda needs a table because she's doing a, well a, done, Ruth. a fill in Georgia. to show you how to do the harlequin that I started. <laughs> right. So <laughs> show you. We're going to try. <laughs> Good God. You've seen her five minutes ago. <laughs> so I've been working quite hard during the week. I don't know if I can just tilt this a little bit. Mm. I'm gonna need to. Can you see that? This is large. It's looking really lovely. It's got a lot of gold on it now as well. The feet are now gold. Oh, you've golded here as well. I have. I've golded Ooh. my pretty my knobs, and I've got some wax gold because I've used mm. gold paint and gold wax to pretty it up. That's really smooth. so. And all of you guys have actually already seen this. This is fantastic. I know. This is amazing. But I wanted to show you done how. pretty much by hand. It is, but it isn't quite as clever as it looks, honestly. So I'm going to show you how Gosh, to do it. Pretty, it's pretty, <laughs> pretty darn clever. So I wanted to show you how I achieved this. Be modest. Now you, you all have asked in the past, 
Hang on. <laughs> no. Sorry about that. You've all asked in the past how I did the mural behind, and I sort of tried to give you an idea. But this is block posters. Can you see block posters? And basically, I've uploaded a JPEG of this image that I found, and the old Alice in Wonderland images are royalty free. And I put in that I wanted it to be, I measured the front of my top as A4 pieces. So I wanted it to be A4 pieces, three across. And that's all you had to put in. And then it converted it for me to this poster size. And then it just printed off automatically. And it had a tiny little margin there. And I've cut the margin off this one so that I can just tape them together, make myself a perfect picture. So it's really clever. So you can make that as big as you like. Obviously, the better quality the original picture, the less pixels, the more pixels it is, the less quality you'll lose when you blow yes. it up. Yeah, that makes sense. So when you look, look for your image, and it gives you the option to look for as many images as you like that are similar, choose the one with the biggest numbers, because that means it's got the most pixels. pixels. So it will blow up better. So then, all I've done is scribble on the back, scribbled on the back with pencil and I have got and it's probably quite hard to see online because I haven't gone over everything I've really just gone over the main outline of the shape of the chair the shape of the heads etc which then gave me the perspective it got it all in the right place which is exactly what I did with that and then I've gone in with a brush and some watercolor afterwards so I'm going to show you that was obviously how to do it on large scale but today I'm going to sit and have a bit of fun with this. Now my printer's really dodgy at the moment, it's stripey. But I've already pre-scribbled on it with a HB pencil. And I'm going to use a biro because they're a bit more, you can use a pencil, but biro's a little bit more pointy, I think. Yeah. You've got a bit more pressure. So just go round the edges and then I can get stuck in and start doing the painting but that's what will finish off this piece this is the last bit for me really because i spent yesterday can you see this it's gorgeous Do we need to push this down a little bit let's have a look this is what i spent yesterday doing they're really long jobs these this is cardstock that i've put in here and it's just from one of these pads i collect these pads every time i find something i like colors so i've got loads of them so I just found the colours that went and I've cut it out and painted, blah, blah, blah. And then I used a stencil to create this diamond. I decided not to do the... Um, so it's just a little... I think stencil stash do. Stencil, stencil stash. stash yeah, do this they're one, brilliant. Um, to repeat with a metallic paint. So that's... Yeah, it was a lot, a lot of work. It's taken me all flipping week. I'm sick of it now. Sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's looking gorgeous, it really is, I have to admit. These is... needles nip the chair already. Look at that. Selfish dog. Look at that. Can you see? Needle. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Smile. Smile, you're on camera. <laughs> oh, flip it. Up. <laughs> get his good side. <laughs> right, let's get this camera sorted out. It's all gone a bit wonky. Oh. Bear with me, guys. It's come off its thing. Oh, it's come off its doodle, hasn't it? We promised. I have got my um, proper tripod one now. Yeah, we've got that coming. But maybe for next week. So hopefully. I shall get on with my tracing while Amanda talks you through what she's up to. Oh. Can you move to see me in the background? Can you see me? She's okay. So yeah. Um, sticking with the theme, we wanted to go for a Harlequin design on this kitchen unit. Okay. So um, I've painted it in a base colour of. Uh, well, I started off with Paula's yellow. What's your yellow called? I've forgotten. Molly. 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 How could I forget? Lovely, sunshiny, sunshiny Molly. Um, but it was a it was a bit too bright <laughs> for what I wanted. I wanted to just calm it down a little bit. So I put a little bit of the. Um, is that Melissa in there? Yeah. Yeah. I've put a little bit of the the brown in with it as well, which has just dulled it down, dulled the tone down a little bit. Um, so I'm really really pleased with that colour. Um, yeah, it's nice. So I've decanted enough, I've made enough for touch-ups and what have you, so... Because <laughs> I'm terrible at measuring things them. out, you really need to make more than you think you're going to need, just in case. So I've done that. Um, I've painted the middle sections in white, and I'll come back to that in a little mo. there is a reason for that. But getting back to the Harlequin, what I've done is 
using a narrow tape. So I've used the frog tape in, in the, the very narrowest form because this is such a narrow piece. Because mine was the two inch. Yours was the two inch because it was a wider um, piece, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so you can, you can see where I've, I've done that with the frog tape. Um, and this is the bit that we've we've had to sort of redo this morning. Now, if I bring My this drawing is there. into uh, yeah, yeah. I will show that. If I bring this into you, oh god, it's hard getting it on the camera. Okay, so you can see where I've divided it up, and I'll show you a bit more of that in a moment. But you can see where I've divided it up, and then I've coloured in where the pieces are that I'm going to actually cut out to produce my Harlequin effect. We've okay. divided it up using the width of the of the tape, haven't we, as yeah. the guideline? So using the tape the as the guideline. And it has to go two, two along to the bottom. So if you look at this, we, we, we're going to put um, a copy of this image as well afterwards. Um, oh God, I hate, yeah, I'll get a copy I hate it when we're in reverse like this. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? It's really weird. I have to do everything sort of backwards. backwards. So. If you think of these lines here as being the width of one piece of tape, okay, so we've started off, oh god this is really awful, I'm trying to go in. so we started off over here and I've gone across two widths of tape, yeah, and brought my line down diagonally, oh god, sorry, this is really, <laughs> it, it's so hard to do this backwards, Your brain's not even <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've brought it down diagonally, down to the bottom, here. So it's going across two, basically. It's going across two stripes, and then you would um, just keep repeating that pattern, and then repeat it back the other way as well. Yeah. Um, and then you're kind of shading in every other one of these these diamonds. If you can see that, yeah, they're the bits that I'm going to be cutting out. Okay. Granted, it's hard to see, but I'm going to start cutting those out, and then you'll see. Um, at least where one side has, has, has started to work. Okay, it will make sense. <laughs> it's, it's fiddly, it's tricky, it's, if you're like me and you're not very good at maths and geometry. It takes a while to get your head around yeah. it, it does. Um, so it's going to be a bit trial and error. So I'm going to go in with my craft knife. But it, I, I think it's really worth it and I really want to have a go at doing something harder queen. I've actually got another writing bureau waiting if I can bear to do another writing you bureau just like to show. I do bureau. like them but this has taken a long time but I really would like to have a go at the harlequin that sort of stretches yes so that it makes the piece look round when actually it isn't so I might have a go at that that would be really funky, wouldn't it? Now, I don't know if you can completely see what I'm doing on there. I don't know if that might need to be brought down just a little bit. I think it, if you bring it down and focus maybe on yours while I'm getting these cut out. Because nobody wants to see me cutting out. Amanda's still coming down from her high last night because she announced when she got here. <laughs> You're going to make me sound really silly. <laughs> she said, she said, do any of you have this experience? I'd be interested in knowing if you do have this experience. <laughs> do any of you like have a moment where your where your painting piece is so good, like so good, that you think, oh no, it will never be as good again. I honestly, where's my life going now? I I was having a real wobbler. <laughs> so I said she's peaked. That's it. <laughs> Game over now. I was looking at it, I was almost crying. I was getting so upset, so emotional, that this piece I was working on, I, was, I, I just felt was the best painted work wow. I have ever done so far, and it's not even finished. Can't wait to see that. I'm, oh God, yeah, I know. I'm really up in <laughs> no the ante here. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. But it did, it got me quite antsy and quite upset, thinking that I might, you know, that, yeah, that might be it. So let me know if you've ever felt that way and, and how you sorted yourself out because I'm in a bit of a state about it. I'm happy to say I haven't peaked yet. <laughs> <laughs> I've peaked yeah, too there's, soon. There's a lot more to come from me. <laughs> oh dear. I might have to get myself a, a new partner. What, new painting? But you wouldn't dare. <laughs> well, if you peaked, you would not dare. <laughs> I, need, I need progress. <laughs> Honestly? 
Yeah, I was mean to you earlier, wasn't it? Because she was saying... Very mean to me. <laughs> I'm no good at maths, I'm no good at doing this. And Liz said to her, no, English is your thing. And she said, but I'd like to be... <laughs> I'd like to be... Uh, I'd like to be good, good at something more than else. just English. And I just said, <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I mean <hanging> with that. <laughs> and she said, oh, the correct answer is, you're really good at art as well. Oh, well. It's just, you know, <laughs> you need friends, eh? I thought she was my friend. We are friends. I yeah. thought you were. We've I thought had, you cared. We've had an interesting week. Oh, we've had a good week. Yeah, we went to um, we went to collect furniture. We went out on a road trip, a mini road trip in the van, in the fairy sheet van. Yeah, and um, yeah, to pick up furniture, and it just turned into a really jolly day, didn't it? Yeah, we we met some nice people, and we went for. a for lunch. <laughs> Have you gone to pick up furniture? Yeah, we ended yeah. up going for lunch. Just complete strangers. It was all a bit bizarre. Yeah. But we made yeah. friends, didn't we? We made some friends. Was it part of your French set, Manda? They are beautiful. No. No, it's a no, new bit. It's, it's the new friends one. Friends keep the us grounded. House. They definitely do, Diane. They definitely do. And Diane is our US lady that got our paint. I'd love to see what you think about our paint when you try it. Is that Diane Jesh? Yes. Jeshla. Jeshla. I don't know. Diane. I'm, I'm lucky I have a really easy to pronounce surname. You don't either, do well, you? Well, mine isn't that tricky, you think. Oh, Paula. What? What? My cutting out's not very good. <laughs> Cutting out, and now she's gonna have me doing a repair job. I'm having problems. So I know, and honestly, this is all about the brush at this stage. Is finding a thin enough brush to just get the outline. And when I first did the outline of um, the piece before, I thought, oh dear, it's a bit dodgy to be honest. But it, it comes together. So I'm literally, I've got quite a clear line now where I've traced it, and you can see, I, I must have. Um, really only done the basic line because it didn't take very long at all. And this is just silly. <laughs> She's going to put her toys out of the ground in a minute. <laughs> Certainly am. Um, pieces coming off in the... Oh, I haven't told you this. I've had a hair update. You know I had my disastrous hair. Oh, with your designer hair colour? Yeah, with my designer hair colour. Get well, you. It suddenly materialised, looking at my emails, that somehow in the midst of my designer tar-like hair colour, that I'd signed up for more to be sent my way. <laughs> <laughs> so they, yeah, they've emailed me to say that your new colour is on its way. I was like, no, I don't want any more. I <laughs> have used the second one and the last one yet. I can't bear it. So uh, I rang them up. So what did they say? And said, look, I don't want it. I want to be stopped. And uh, Ooh, what's next? She said, well, you'll lose your 20% off your plan if you stop now. And I said, you've got a whole plan. Apparently. And I was done, I tell you. Duped. Late night shopping. Let that be a yeah. lesson. And I said, well, I don't, I don't yeah. want a plan. I'm, I'm not going to okay. be buying any more. And she sounded all offended and said, Could, would you mind if I asked why? <laughs> and I said, Did you tell her? Yeah, it's because it was like tar. I had to literally be in the shower for an hour to get it out of my hair. I said, that's not normal. And she then said, oh, we've had a few complaints about that. It's because it's an oil-based product. Um, and we're now working on a cream-based product that will be much easier to, to wash out. Would you be interested? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> no. So yeah, I'm out. I'm out of the plan now. Is that it now? Yeah. That's probably just as well, isn't it? <laughs> Blimey. Things we do. But when I first, because I first, they did one of those emails where they said, "Can you give feedback?" And I well, actually you did. Didn't yeah, you? and I put it in there. Yeah, dreadful. And um, they messaged me. Never seen such a ridiculous message reply to it. Um, and it said. Don't worry, we'll have your hair all sorted in a jiffy. All you've got to do is get some bicarbonate of soda, get in the shower and scrub it, and then it will get all the residue off and you'll be looking good as new and sparkly. Oh, fabulous. This is what the email 
Mouse said. That's exactly what you want, isn't it? Good God. Oh, golly, Miss Molly. <laughs> hello, Gail. Hello, TB. <laughs> Sorry about my lengthy hair discussions. It's, it's been a saga. Right. Next time you say to me, fancy having a go at this Harlequin. The answer's no. The answer's no. <laughs> Do you know think it is? I mean... Go on, show what you're doing. I so all we can see is your back. Well, I know, but I'm sorry about that. Um, I use frog tape all the time. It's it's the best, quite simply. Um, but I think it's actually a bit thick for this. It's sticking, isn't it? I'm finding it. I did have to do touch ups on mine. Tricky. Okay. And well, you said you sealed yours as well, didn't you? Yes, I'd sealed the paper beforehand. Uh, but I think it's the, the tape. It's it's good tape. What can I say? So let's have a look where we're going so far. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see what I'm doing? So I'm just taking out those pieces um, that I'd shaded in. Uh, so it is tricky and I am learning. It's the first moaning, time I've done this. A lot. Lots of moaning. Um, hi Gail. <laughs> um, lo lots of moaning. Hopefully there won't be too much swearing. But um, <laughs> still got the swear box. Still got, yeah. <laughs> but that's where I'm up to. And um, I'm sure it looked lovely when I finished. But I'm not sure I'd ever do it again. I think I shall leave Harlequin to you. Well, I said that about Mackenzie's child, and I stand by that, really. Did you look up Mackenzie's child on Paula's videos? Um, I put a link videos? to it on somewhere. Somebody. Yeah, it was hard. It's, it's, see, now maybe that's why you peaked. <laughs> <laughs> Peaking, does that count? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good God. Well, I'm losing the will. I'm losing the will. Honestly, this is. Uh, just put a paintbrush in my hand and I'm fine. And I've got this flipping scalpel. <sighs> with how she's feeling, peaking, we never know what she might do with it. Well, <laughs> listen, I tell you, any more of this malarkey and this scalpel's going somewhere. Sandwich. It's even your way. Oh, thank you. Next time you have a marvellous idea, keep it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's see if we can peel this. Well, one. we've got a week to come up with another marvellous idea well, now. Yes. However, that coincides with um, Halloween, doesn't it? And I know we've done pumpkins and spells and what have you, but. Um, we might have to come up with something Halloween themed. I don't know. So get your thinking witchy hats on. Tell you what guys, let's leave some of the hard work to you. We've, we've, we've put milk paint to the, as the possible. We can product, use milk paint, can't we? Yeah. Yeah, but if you, but what would you like to see? Is there a technique or anything you've seen that we've done that you how think? How would you like us to use it? Yeah. Help us out because I tell you, it's an enormous amount of work. This just thinking of something new, and then having to put up with man's and moaning about it loads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a moaner, but no, this, she's a peaker. This is this is you know above and beyond. Who says that? Who comes in and this says, is above my pay grade? I've done the best piece of work I've ever done. And now it's game over. Maybe that's why this is going so really horribly game, wrong. Yes, <laughs> I peaked. You, you peaked. Peaked Down before I did Harlequins. Right. Ugh. We won't tell you what she compared it to peaking. <laughs> Here we go. It's okay. smut. It's all smut. 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 One thirty. Good God. Well, Brand has been releasing. Talking of smut, Brand has been. <laughs> releasing pictures of her, her La Maison. That's what <laughs> How did we get onto smut? Well, it just reminded me of the comment that was made when your photograph of your piece wasn't there. <laughs> My cock up. Yeah. And then somebody said they'd like to see that. Yes, which I thought was very rude. We've got Can some. You put, yeah, we've got some very rude ladies. Very rude ladies that watch this. Oh yeah, I didn't. I it took me quite a while to work out what they meant by that. Really? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Honestly, they get online at silly o'clock, 
bottle of a uh, bottle of wine, glass of wine, <laughs> and they come up with the rudest comments. Yeah, but it's like that post that I posted, wasn't it? About what was it? Alcohol said. Yes, <laughs> that would be funny. Post that. Post that will go down really well. And alcohol, alcohol was wrong. wrong. <laughs> alcohol was so wrong. <laughs> I really like so. Yeah, we've all been there. Yeah. Wake up the next morning and go. No, oh I didn't. God. Press delete. You can't. Right. Some things. It's always out there. It's on record. Be careful what you say after that second glass of wine. <laughs> I reckon you ought to be able to set your, your phone or something to some automatic shutdown. <laughs> set time if you're dangerous. <laughs> yeah. I'm always dangerous if, when I'm tired. If you're tired. shopping too much or yeah, if you've had like, a bit too like much that, drink. It says, look, hang on a minute. <laughs> I think you need to stop. Well, your bank does it, does it, when it's unusual sort of shopping activity? activity. Yeah. Maybe Such your um, yeah, computer should, be computer should do the same. same. Do you really want to post this? Yes. Would you really want to purchase two two pairs of those horrible baggy trousers <laughs> that you thought looked so cute? Yeah. That's a size eight. That's a size eight. <laughs> That's, I've done that. It will only fit over <laughs> one thigh. myself it'll be all right because if it doesn't fit I'll give it to Georgia but she's actually got better wardrobe than me <laughs> and she keeps flaunting them I love this outfit mum like, yeah it's supposed to be mine yeah, yeah but it would have looked good on you 20 years ago yeah. wouldn't it <laughs> all right so I'm now filling in my outline just using a bit of water and I've actually found this my brush is sometimes these are like lucky lucky accidents I'm going to show you I don't know if you can see this my brush is sort of hang on, separated into a bit streaky lines and I'm actually using that to my advantage because these drawings are quite by the original are quite sketchy they've, they've been done in a sketchy way there's a lot of cross hatching going on, which I like to give the shading. It's quite effective. So I'm using the split in the brush to do my cross hatch. So I'm gonna, I'll bring it in closer in a bit and just show you. But really, even though I'd like you all to believe I'm a really talented artist, obviously that hasn't peaked. I'd like to say. <laughs> Still waiting to Still peak. Still waiting to peak. <laughs> Never going to hear the last of this. Yeah, what am I going to shout? Seven. <laughs> Seven. Seven. <laughs> well, while I'm thinking of it, guys, unfortunately, well, well maybe fortunately, because most of you that tuned in now aren't going to want to bother watching it again tonight anyway. Um, that's what I would have thought. Um, but we're not able to do our watch party tonight. Um, it's hubby's birthday, so I'm off out on a on a family oh, meal. And Amanda, as you might have seen from her page, is having some very intermittent problems with her internet at yep. the moment. So I know she's. It would be unfair to leave her to try and host it on her own because I think chances are it will go down. No. <laughs> it's it's really all. Oh, and it will be. Shall I say more honestly? Really chances are it won't go up in the first place yeah. because tech is not her thing. It's so not. What is my thing? English. Right? English. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> we can't all be clever. <laughs> it's so mean. It's so mean. What's my thing? <laughs> Doesn't yeah. that just say it all, really? You didn't even know what your thing is. It says a lot about you. <laughs> <laughs> what, have you what have you got if you haven't got English? Well, <laughs> I wonder what on earth I would do if I didn't have art. Oh, I really do. Wouldn't it be awful? I'd, yeah, I can't. Maybe I'd be a more plateau person. Do you wonder? No, I don't have to. <laughs> okay. You find some other release for your madness. I might be nicer. <laughs> I don't believe. 
name, creativity for being it's horrid. My artistic temperament. I suppose. Uh, really? <laughs> so I'm not horrid. <laughs> right. Mm. I am so chuffed that my paint has got all the way to the US. Yeah, that that and is Canada because it's terrifying pasting it. You've no idea the responsibility of what you're going to do if it all goes wrong, even when it's free. <laughs> What's the matter now? <laughs> Can you hear her? This, 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 butter, butter, butter. It's <laughs> like an old pipe. <laughs> no, I didn't do very well at that either. <laughs> Which leads me to the fantasy football league. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let, let man do introduce you to the fantasy football league. Well, good grief. You see. Um, <laughs> so the fantasy football league. Um, <laughs> she's making some strange what sounds. She's saying this online. Look, I'm single. Okay, <laughs> I am single. Very, very. I just shout about it. Single, <laughs> and I'm happy with that. That's okay. However, every now and again, you meet somebody that you know catches your eye. <laughs> and um, I seem to be collecting these these little sort of these these. In our case, it's a five-man football team. Fantasy um, <laughs> men. So nothing's happened. There's <laughs> nothing in reality. It's all up in my head. But I'm up to five now. A jolly good time at night. Five <laughs> fantasy men. So I thought we could. You know, like have fantasy football leagues. I'm, I'm having a, a fantasy <laughs> boyfriend league. Five aside, purely. Um, so yeah, that's my little fantasy football league. <laughs> <laughs> you have a really dirty laugh. She does. She really does. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I won't be laughing in a minute. This is all going. This is going to be a lot of touch-ups on here. Um, have you peeled it off? No, I'm still oh. trying to cut out the diamonds. Yeah. So honestly, this is slow. You did all football, yours in advance and made it look so clever. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to want speed at some no, point. No, no, no. Sometimes <laughs> it's nice just to take it slow and gentle. <laughs> God. Oh, look, I don't want that bit coming off. <sighs> too funny. <laughs> you don't have to wash those socks, too. Wash my socks. They don't have to wash their socks. No, no, no stinking football teams. No dirty. No, they can wash their own. All right. Obviously, that's what I'm missing in life. My own fantasy football. Pros league. and cons to being single. But yes, no, I don't have to wash anybody's underpants. Pick them up off the floor. <laughs> oh dear God. Oh. It's all gone quiet now. <laughs> Speechless. <laughs> what does one say? How did yeah, how does anyone follow that act? Right. My little mad hatter is not looking too bad. Unlike Manders. <laughs> Monstrosity. I tell you what, you're doing the other side. <laughs> do, do we need to move you swiftly on to the next stage? Well, we might have to because you know time is running out. <laughs> um, and I did want to actually get some decoupage done. I haven't done any decoupage for quite a while. It was my thing for a very long time. What's your thing? Yeah. What's your thing now? Um, yeah. I've been quite preoccupied with IOD, as you know. I'm trying to. Yeah. Oh, you've got a nice little IOD project coming up, haven't you? Yeah, I've got a dresser that's here on the right behind me that I'm working on. Um, but we've got all the knob stamps, just if we haven't got enough rudeness out today. They're arriving. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling my 
friend this morning about knob no, no tools. Knob art. Nob he art. came up with that. Knob art. It obviously doesn't mean the same in the States. And I found myself writing in the, in the explanation that each knob art <laughs> comes with a... It comes with a tool. <laughs> One is a big... Big hole for big knobs. And one is a small hole for small knobs. <laughs> and somebody commented it on a small knob. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that's what you need. <laughs> oh my God, it, it's going to carry on, isn't it? When they're in the country. It's just, it's just such a fabulous word. I just find myself writing it and thinking, I can't believe I'm actually writing this. Tell me, any of you out there in other countries, <laughs> is Nob just as funny here, or is it funny with you two? Yeah, I'll be just as we it's here, it's just it's having the whole shop. We've got old ladies in the shop, creased up <laughs> <laughs> over this blinking knob art stamp, and they're tall with big and large. <laughs> and what do you do with this? Hmm. What do you do? Oh, I don't know. I'm sure you could think of a few things with your fantasy team. But you're not taking one home. <laughs> Come up and see my knob art. <laughs> Never mind my etchings. <laughs> oh, good God. Well, this is going We're going to be calling this smut week at this rate. We've moved on to new levels. It is daytime TV. Right. Off the edge. Uh, I am nearly there. Do you know what? I'm going to make this my last piece and then show you what I've done because I do want to get some, <laughs> some proper work done. Yeah, this is obviously not my forte. Decided. Right. Look at that. Look at that. I'm taking big wedges out here as well with my knife. You know how messy I am with painting? Well, I think I'm just messy in general. I think I'm hard-handed, that's what it is. And, uh, don't. <laughs> don't. There's a thought there. Go there. <laughs> Nogs, knobs are giggle-worthy in Aussie too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Right, look, look. I'm quite excited now because as I'm... This, this is live, this was from scratch, so I've done this in the time, so it really isn't as hard as what Manda's making out. <laughs> Your job was easy. <laughs> yeah. You try cutting out triangles. Shall I challenge you then? <laughs> triangles is tricky. What squares would have been fine? <laughs> squares would have been fine. Triangles. I'm not happy with triangles. Look, let me show you where I am. <sighs> oh, take my specs off, but they keep falling off. I still haven't repaired them yet. Okay, so you, I think you can sort of get the gist now. Yeah. So I still have got some more cutting to do. Um, Paula, that's amazing. What about mine, Deborah? <laughs> 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 Yeah. Look at me, she's, look at me. <laughs> so yeah, I think you get the idea that they're the pieces that I will be painting and I'm going to be painting them in white, I think. I was going to do all sorts of fancy funky colours, but I think I'm going to stick with white because I think it'll work better with the decoupage. Okay, right. Um, so I don't know, can you see what I've done there? Can you see? I don't know how close up that will. I'm going to take it off so you can see it because I'm about there. It is no work of art, but because of the sketchy style... Oh, come on. Don't be modest. Can you see? It is, it, that's fantastic. Hang on, wait a minute. Move up, move up. There we go. No, it's this backwards fronty thing. So that I think that would do nicely. It's perfectly fine. It's a unique piece. Oh, look, her man just going in with a... Yeah, this is the napkin I'm going to be using. And obviously I'll need to um, position it accordingly. That's going to go Quite cool. all the way down the, the, yeah. the centre white panel. Red borders in. Um, Not bad, actually. Quite nice. I'd have to take them off top and bottom, obviously. 
make a stripe. Make a stripe out of it, do you think? What do we think? Are you happy think. with the red border? I quite like it. Well, if you're happy, I'm happy. Yeah. So, let's get this one on first. Right, there we go. How are you doing for time? Time flies. Um, when you're not cutting out trackers. <laughs> when you're not cutting out trackers. <laughs> Honestly, that's half an hour I'll never get back. So if you are in the paint forum, which I think most of you are, um, I will put these Alice images into the files section. At the top there's quite a lot of image transfers in there for you to use. So I will put them in there so that you can have a go. And you can obviously enlarge them via blockposters.com if you want to have a go at the whole across the front thing, which was the only technique I used to use before things like IOD came out, because IOD accommodates for large pieces of furniture. But of course in the past, we didn't have that, did we? It was bits of wallpaper. Yes. Or hand-painted hand painting, you know. image transfers. Now I have got um, Georgia very kindly Now, am I right in thinking these are pre-flight? They should be through, but sometimes they are. So, so I think there's another one on there. There's one. George has very oh, yeah, kindly is. found me some... Got it? Yeah. She's found me some image transfer paper. Um, and I haven't tried it yet because of my printer problems being streaky. And it does say on the instructions that it needs to be done via a laser printer, which yeah, we'll have to go with But somebody printers, said that it's okay with an inkjet paint, so I wanted to. Sorry about that. Connection went for some reason. No idea why. Back just in time. Hi, Jeanette. Yeah, breaking up the inter internet connection just went. Hopefully, you'll be able to. For you didn't miss much. <laughs> <laughs> Man just peaked. I've painted. <laughs> She's got nothing done whatsoever. I haven't. I feel I haven't anyway. <laughs> really? But we have established she's got a five-man football team that she dreams about <laughs> every night. Yeah, you can catch up with that one. <laughs> <laughs> right, are we sure about this border? Well, I quite like the red. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just means I've got to really match it up. That's right. <laughs> it's all very well, you're not doing it. Right, I'm going to take it down. That's not worth. Right, so do you use cling film or no cling film? Um, I use cling film where I can. Uh, but obviously we're going to go in with um, matte finish first of all. So that's going to go down on the white. Uh, painted wood. Then sticking the top layer of my napkin down. I probably will use cling film because I help it, you know, just help it moves around a bit. Uh, you're looking at me very strange. <laughs> <laughs> See, I do it completely different to you. That I know lots of people do do it like that, but I lay it on yeah. and then use a soft brush and literally wet it through the napkin. I did do that. I, did, I used to do it with, do. Um, with a soft blusher brush. Yeah, it has to be the soft brush is the is the trick. Here's the cling film. Right. Oh, thank you. I just one oh. I one I prepared earlier. One you prepared earlier. Right. <laughs> um, I have to decide how long I want this as well, aren't I? This is too long at the moment. So my piece. I'm really chuffed with it. It just needs some clear wax now, and then it'll be done. And I. Of, normally I probably would have used the matte finish as well but if you remember last week I've had loads of bleed through it was bad so wax is the answer somebody messaged me yesterday uh, on the forum regarding a problem with paint and coverage and they were at their third coat of paint and it still didn't appear to be covering it and they sent me a private message to them and they sent me some photographs and um, it was really obvious from looking at the photographs and they were new so not their fault at all but it was really obvious that they had bleed through um, 
and that it wasn't the paint. So if you're, if you're getting to your second and third coat and you're still getting patchiness coming through everywhere, stop, stop painting, you're just wasting the paint. Um, you need to stain block it at that point and you probably need to consider waxing your piece when it's finished so that you don't draw, because matte finish, as amazing as it is for decoupage and sealing and all the rest of it, the one thing it's really bad at is drawing out more stain from the old varnish. What are you looking for? Uh, scissors. We've got scissors at all of the... Oh, I might be... No, actually, no, I'll be able to do it without. I'll use... Yeah, I'll give you a look. Thank you. Super nice. Thank you. Super nice. Just gonna... How long... How does the cling film help? Well, when it's wet, you can put the cling film on top of the napkin, because obviously if you keep brushing the napkin, you stand the risk of once it's wet, it tearing. But if you put cling film on, you can use your hands and be actually quite firm in spreading out and removing all the creases. Um, it works brilliantly on wood furniture. It doesn't work very well on fabric. Don't do it on fabric. We've tried cling film over and it, it does still tear it, but it works very well. Shall we do it? Shall I hold it up for you so that you can demo it? Uh, no, 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 I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it flat yeah, and then hold it up on. for you. I, I just don't want it going wrong. Um, it is um when everything else has gone so wrong for me. <laughs> yeah, this is because she's announced herself as an achieving artist. <laughs> it's all gone wrong. Here come the insults. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna show you the 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 Right. Where's my napkins? Very quickly before we go. Right. So, generous layer of finishing. Potion. Obviously, the idea with all decoupage is that you do it on the colour. Um, so you, your background colour should match the background of your napkin. I tear because you don't get the hard edge and it blends more and it looks more natural. So. So here is my napkin. If I was being thorough, I'd tear along that edge as well. Most napkins are three ply, which is three layers. So you take off the two back, like so. Sometimes that's easier than others. So this is what I do with a lot of customers that come in to prove to them how easy it is. So I've got a very soft artist brush. And can I borrow some of this as well? Mm -hmm. Put this up here. I use the matte finish. Matte finish is better than Mod Podge, in my view, just because it's thinner. Mod Podge is a bit thick. So I get quite loaded up. I'm not stingy about it. Now, man does actually wet the underneath first, but I don't. I just start from the middle. And obviously I haven't washed my brush up properly because there's some paint coming out on it here, but can you see? So where it's white, it's just blended in, you can't actually see the edge. So I've missed a bit of finishing thing here. I find this works really well and usually when customers come in and I give them a plate and they have a go, they're hooked immediately. It is about the brush, don't use a hard bristle brush. Makeup brush is a good idea, Primark or something, one of those cheap blusher. Yeah, the nice, blusher the nice brush, soft, the soft ones. But the, these artist ones are cheap as well. Now you can see I've got a bit of paint showing through there. But if I wanted to now at this stage, although I don't actually need to at all, it's really gone on quite well. But if I wanted to, I could get myself a bit of cling film. It's just normal cling film. Because I find that if you wet the underneath first, you then stand more chance of the napkin getting all rumpled up when you stick it down and of course you've only got one chance to stick it down. So you don't put the finishing if, coat on first? No, because then you've only got one chance to put the napkin on which then stands more chance of it all getting rumpled up. So, so by so you, now I'm just putting different. this literally higgledy piggledy on the top but it doesn't stick to the matte finish so you can if it was rumpled, which it isn't, because I'm just really good at it. <laughs> you can use... No, seriously, just do it the way I'm showing you. This, 
so you can just use the cling film really quite brutally to smooth out bits and it's not going to tear the, the napkin and then it will peel off without pulling off the the napkin at all and it looks quite smooth but it, it in this case it didn't need it it's about the brush right well but doing mine a very different way yeah but you've got to do what works for you but if, like, if you find that it work, it's getting rumpled and you're scared or you're doing you're starting to do it my way and then it tears get some cling film put it on because that will protect it because that's what i'm doing i'm using my cling film um as a barrier between, because i am hard handed you know that i'm a bit heavy handed <laughs> so i'm using that as a barrier really to smooth that it out be a delicate soul <laughs> i'm not I'm a delicate one i'm i'm not a, certainly not a delicate soul <laughs> but it just means that i'm not going to stick my fingernails through the napkin um, it, yeah, it's what works for you. You can be a lot more brutal that way. Yes, and of course you can still see what you're doing because it's... That looks nice, that looks really nice. They sound so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes we use like whole napkins like that in, in one whole piece and quite often though I use, for example, I don't know, I've got a whole load of napkins but that's the first one I've grabbed napkins like that and I'll tear out sections and branches and then make it look like they're growing up something by attaching it onto it and the trick is always going to be again to match the, the background colour if you get that right you, you're sorted because you can always pile little leaves separately on top of any joins that haven't quite worked and if you've got the background right you can cut out you don't have to tear it's it's the background's the biggie See, now the problem I've got with this is that the images aren't going to all line up. They just aren't. No. That's okay. It doesn't look it, wrong. No, it's just going to have to It really to doesn't look wrong. It looks, down, it looks it? great. Well, decoupage is much easier than image transfers and uh, even IOD transfers in, in terms of going around corners and over things and in and out, you know, using napkins because they're just so mouldable. So it's just a matter of... It looks really nice for those colours. It's lovely colours, I'm loving the colours. Yeah, colors. I've got a proper Alice theme going on. So I don't know, I might go white at the side and the Harlequins, I might go green on the Harlequins. Let's put it to the public. All red. I'm so not sure about the yeah. Just not sure about the yellow and the red together. Maybe, maybe she really like this suggestion. I know this. Maybe she could have some more harlequins down the side there. <laughs> <laughs> Should we put that to the public? <laughs> you can put it to them. <laughs> she's gonna do it. She'll I'm get me to do it. Do you know, it. The second the camera goes, she'll go right. You're doing the rest. I will. Honestly. <laughs> Make that's no what, bones about what, it. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I make no bones about it. I'm not doing any more Harlequin. Right? Just looking. Oh, like, <laughs> Liz is looking in. I've got something about it. Yeah, not, not doing any more Harlequin. That's it. My Harlequin days are over. But I don't mind finishing off the decoupage. You should try the Mackenzie Child. I, I, yeah. No. No. <laughs> if that's beaten you, believe me. Well, no, but that doesn't involve cutting out, though, does it? Well, not the way I did it, no, because no. I did it by hand. I literally rulered. Because I've done similar. And then I hand-painted the squares yeah. meticulously. I don't mind that. Yeah. It's, it's the... Oh. I'm definitely going to try a stretchy harlequin. I'd, I, honestly, I would love to see so that. So where there's a big triangle and then slightly mm. narrower one. So it makes a fake I, I swelling. I would really, really, really like to see that. Um, but you're on your own. <laughs> that's that's what's that. going on with do my not get, Do not get me involved. Eeks! <laughs> <laughs> my sharing thing has gone wild i think i've shared to the whole world oh that's fine oh that's nice here's my phone it's not playing with me nicely i think that's really nice jeanette that's no problem at all. <laughs> um, yeah more than happy with that the class. <laughs> <laughs> keep sharing <laughs> fantastic we must be nearly there for time yeah five minutes Are you gonna get that on might do might not <laughs> I've only got waxing to do and that's a bit boring. Yeah, just got Let's go over the prizes. Got just to make sure that I So it was last week's prizes, do you remember? Was Melia clean? I haven't clocked whether you're watching or not, but you normally are. 
And you have one. I'm sending you a special treat. Parissa, chalk paint, pink stamp and an IOD transfer. So I need your address, my lovely. And then next week, we're going to try and do a... Where do we put the chalk paint? I don't know. Um, where's it gone? 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 Oh, it's there. It's right in front of me. Typical. Milk paint and a paintbrush to use. And we're going to try and have a, if we can find a suitable bit of furniture, a suitable bit of wood, we're going to have some fun playing with Yay. the milk pen. We're going to try some chippy. That's what I love about yeah, it. Yeah, we're going to do some chippy. So we might need to, we need some wax. Yeah, I've got loads. Uh, yeah, we need wax for, to get the chippy effect. Um, it's better. It's easier okay. if, you, if you use wax. So we'll try. It's not impossible without, but it's easier. Maybe we could do some tester boards. I haven't done enough with milk paint to be able to rave about it to my customers and I'd like to. Um, what have you put in here? <laughs> <laughs> I've got... <laughs> That's the brush, look, can you see that? Chocolate flavoured finishing, matte finish. Just swell it a bit. It's like when you get, I, you know. I'm the messy one. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't washed my brush up. <laughs> God, blimey. See what I have to work with. Nothing wrong with a bit of contamination. <laughs> See you next week, Debbie. Okay. Are we off? Yeah, Debbie and Debbie's oh. off. So I think we need to say goodbye. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Right, so, and again, we're not on tonight. Really sorry, but we will be back next week, as yes. usual. Yeah, at as one usual. On Thursday. And um, sorry if you're seeing my back the whole time. <laughs> sorry for my impatience. We'll do some close-ups so we can show you what we've achieved. Yeah. It'll look all right on the night. Cheers. See you later, guys. See ya. Bye. Is milk paint as good as...